Hi everybody. So today I'm doing a bit of an upgrade. Um, we're getting the challenge truck ready for the next event. Um, the only way I can see us getting a bit faster is to go to 24 volt on the winch. So an improvement on the winch is going to give us a big time in increase. So I've got two big new max batteries. Um, I've got to find somewhere to put them. So as it sits at the moment, my option seems to be putting one on either side of the chassis in here and boxing it somehow. So that's the route that I'm going. Um, I've chopped out some angle there to make some bases. Um, we'll record a bit up and we'll clean them all up and weld the boxes up and see what it sits with the batteries like under there. thinking about putting that in there and then probably putting a tubular bump bar around it to protect it maybe because I haven't got a lot of places on here where I've got space to put batteries unless I move all the fuel tank and everything and then it puts all the weight to the back so it's, as it sits at the moment it's really nicely balanced weight wise Probably going to completely screw it up. Yeah, these batteries on.
battery so that I can mount the batteries and then I can wire the batteries into the vehicle. First things first, I'm going to put a notch in the end of the tube so that it will fit on there nicely so that when I, mount, when I mark the other end up it will go in nice and tight and that will support the battery tray. So I've got a holding bar up here to the chassis rail and then the same at the front. It gives me something I can actually mount a plate to to protect the battery if I decide that I need to do that. as the um, cage is made from. So that's the shape we need to cut. Tacking a piece of plate to the bottom of the new battery tray um, just in case anything decides it's going to try and drive itself up through the bottom of it it should uh, protect it and prevent that we will be running a full skid plate underneath at some point I'll just have to get brackets and stuff mounted and get a plate mounted up underneath there as well They're heavy fuckers, aren't they? Oh yeah. How much does that weigh? 20, 25 kilos.
one battery in one battery tray. Good morning everybody. So today we're doing the upgrade to 24 volt on the truck. We're going to leave the actual truck running on 12 volt, but we're doing an upgrade of 24 volt and a set of batteries so that we can run the winch faster with more power. So I'm going to crack on with that. So we've already mounted the 24 volt alternator on the vehicle here. So I got a Gwyn Lewis bracket to mount the alternator. The belt that came with it was a 795, with, but because this is a alternator off a DAF lorry, it's not the Land Rover one, so the pulley's a bit bigger. Um, so I had to get a bigger belt to run it on. I'm not sure what we're going to be like output wise until we actually run it and see i mean obviously it will be outputting the right voltage but i'm not sure how much current we'll get on it with that size pulley i think it'll be fine um i've mounted some trays underneath the vehicle um so the dashboard changes we've got this contactor here will switch between the 12 and the 24 volt. So the 12 volt supply comes to this contact and the 24 volt goes to that. So when you operate the switch on this, which is this one, that will turn it to 12 volts, which will give you your standard motor running, which you can run flat out for winding in. If you switch it across to 24 volts, that's gonna run the motor a lot faster and you shouldn't run that continuously. Um, with no load on it because it will melt the motor within a few seconds. I've put a voltmeter on here so that gives us a visual display of what voltage we switch to and that will come from the buzz bar. This is the electric isolator to isolate the winch and this is the electric isolator for the vehicle. So that this one does the power to the starter motor etc and this one here is the output to the winch. Um, I've also got a 12 volt light for the alternator and a 24 volt one as well. So these two and these two are the upgrades on the dashboard for the 24 volt. 